All right, guys. So yeah, it's been a while since I've last uploaded the video. Just first week back at work has been has been busy. So I've not really had a chance to be uploading. I've not really had a chance to be editing, and I've not really had a chance to be doing much else apart from work, eat, and sleep. Obviously, still getting my workouts in the morning. But today's video. Yeah, but before we start this video, please like, subscribe, and share this video with people you know, your friends, your Facebook. Just get this out there. Like, really helps me out. And so today's video is going to be all about just a quick little tour about my home gym and what my setup is, how I'm utilizing it and what I've actually got in place. So let's crack on and I'll see you in two secs. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip the camera around. So I'm gonna just show you around. You hear me talk in the background, but I just wanna, so you can actually see the full extent of what's going on here. So yeah, here we have it. We have the pull-up bar, wall mounted, can do I'm a bit further in if I don't need to swing too much, or I can be further out if I'm doing like butterfly pull-ups, like CrossFit style. I also have gravity rings, just so I can learn, I'm still learning to do ring muscle-ups and muscle-ups, so really handy to do like chest dips, or like um, doing pull-ups, to get used to holding onto the ring instead of a bar. Also, to do a bit of back when I need to, and also build arms and triceps, I have the bands which are easily attachable to the bar. So I can just do pulling downs, or I can do like pull throughs, or even if I want to do a bit of like get my pull up form better, I can do um, banded pull ups just to work on the strength side of things. And then we're on to the big one. We're on to the black box utility squat stand. Got this for a steal on the Black Friday along with the bulldog barbell only a 15 kilo barbell but at the time i was only using it for technique and obviously now doing all my strength from home it's all right i just need to get some fractional plates to make up that extra five kilos but yeah it's super handy as well obviously you've got your standard j clips so i can go at any height obviously for myself this is that perfect height obviously if i'm let's say training someone or the missus wants to come out here and train i can just adjust it for her, her height without having to unbolt everything it's just simple it's like i'm being in the gym but cold very cold again i would normally have floor mats out just to keep the keep it all protected but because it's a wet floor i don't actually want to get them all grotty just yet as that one's getting when i'm doing deadlifts and any olympic lift stuff i just use the space here again i just put the floor mats out so that there's like a stopper so i don't damage the floor or the bumper plates one of the main things i like is having a little seating area it looks a bit leafy right now because all the leaves are just blowing everywhere but especially when i'm doing like heavy squats or something it makes it a lot easier to just have somewhere to actually sit down and just relax for about five minutes depending on how long my rest of the periods are so yeah, this is the outside part. I'm gonna pop inside now and just show you what weights I have, and dumbbells, and any other bits I have, which I'm not having out here right now, because again, it's wet. So yeah, catch you inside. There's a distance between us. It's getting hard to reach out. Haven't seen you in season. Yep, so here we are on the inside. This is where I keep all my main weights and everything. Again, just to really stop it all getting damaged by the weather. Gonna look for more of a permanent solution than under the table. So yeah, we'll start off first with the weighted vest. That is from Bulldog Gear. Weighs about 20 pounds, which is just under 10 kilos, I think. Handy again, when I just wanna get my pull-up strength up, wear that makes it 10 times harder. Up next we have uh, two dumbbells which are actually on loan from my stepdad. I haven't got my own dumbbells just yet, but from what they feel like, they feel like they're about 12 and a half kilos, obviously adjustable. So I could just chuck one set onto the other one and make about what, 22 and a half, 25 kilo dumbbell. Just handy for when you're doing the single arm movements or want to do some dumbbell exercises, obviously. Just behind there we have the bumper plates, all from Rogue different series, but we have 25s, 15s, 10s, 5s, two of each, and then that, that really that's all I need, so with including the barbell, as I said in some v previous videos, the total weight is 125 kilos, and then onto knee sleeves and belt, again just safety and stability while lifting heavy. If anyone's ever looking to get bumper plates, I highly recommend going for rubber, especially if you're going to be 
using them on like a hard surface like concrete. Really, they just bounce, won't get damaged, unlike the top ones, which are, oh, they'll survive, but again, won't last as long as the heavy ones on the bottom. But then in the box up here, we have, like I said, the floor mats. Just makes it comfier and makes it like less, less of an impact when they're hitting the concrete outside. But all I hear is your voice. I know my limits. You can break me down, but I'll stay till the finish line. There you have it. That's my home gym equipment and what I use on a daily to get me through this lockdown. If any of you actually have any home gyms set up, feel free to send them to me. I would love to see what everyone else is actually using during lockdown. It could be on oh, using your wheelie bins as a squat stand, using using baked beans to just do curls, or you know, using your kids or your missus or your partner to act as a barbell when you're squatting. It does work. Just just actually weigh each other first before you go and do it because I've seen some fails and, lead, and then on to the next video which is going to be an interesting one hoping to collaborate with a couple of people got just waiting to hear back from them now you know, and a bit interesting like a little bit of a competition between three of us hopefully you know, catch you in the next one and like I said please like and subscribe it really helps me out catch you on the flip side